They can. Naga and keep off the light. Very, very good late game. Do they have enough illusion clear? Is the keep off the light enough of an illusion clear? Oh, there's the lash. They go for the lash. They go yeah. lash. Yeah. All right. So support lash and mid Mirana. Yes. They do know it was the actual rune down bottom. So Shimel probably being told like, watch out for the haste, the invis, some kind of high oh, impact. Oh, Korea snipe. Zai, is he going to get oh, there no. in time? The Korea turn for a split seconds. It's got the bottle on it. Zai able to take it. Jirak coming behind it, and then on the bottom lane as well. The clock, I mean, top lane clockwork is the first blood. And EG will claim to not only a Korea snipe, but you also lose the clockwork. Can absolutely cripple you, and now this is going to be a pretty big period of time where Honor does not have the bottle at mid. And they are going to one sensor what was just put on the screen. Some mail, got to be careful right now. His breeze fires on up with a fade bolt, just had level four. So the leap away on low life. Zai turns, gonna get the stun into Anna, combining up with the arrow. That's a big stun. Some mail has level two starfall. It should be enough damage, or will it? Anna back to the tower. They missed the up here as well. What? And some mail now. G Rex picks him up. Fade bolt to bubble. It's only level one. The damage is enough with the bounce out. Jirax playing it perfectly, and EG, well, the luck was there to get some early first bloods, but they just kept missing. Forward with the SD and Lashrak, it may just not come to fruition. Uh, mid lane, Jirax, there's your pick up over on Mirana, dragging it back with the Dragon Tail stun. The leap, he doesn't even get up the hill. Jirax able to fade bolt him down. So OG now is Jirak, you've got to respect his rotations. It's such a high pressure game, so tense here. These teams probably thinking this is Universe. almost in some way a final. Nice stun in the middle. This stun's going to connect some ale as well. The star falls there. One charge just can't get off in time. Jirak started his TP, but also TP to the backside of the tower, so couldn't instantly get that telekinesis off. Normally, like, we've seen a lot of Lunas throughout this series, uh, throughout this competition, and especially with OG. Oh, they just sentry ward, they just sentry ward. Universe, he's visible. The dragon form gives him the rain stun. Now, hook shot forward. S4 is going to hold him there with the cogs. Arrow's coming in. Universe gets his stun off, but it's already too late. Clockwork will take the kill with the battery assault. Defense of their T1 tower on bottom lane. They are going to trigger off the fortification. And then a Moonlight Shadow, who are they looking for? It's actually the get on the top lane, Arteezy out there. But S4 hit the blind hook shot. He had a small bit of time to see him. But the Illuminate, the Sentry Warp, it does the work. And the Luna will fall. And the key heroes of EG, taking Arteezy down. They do take a bit of damage on this bottom tier one, but even that's being well defended. They're looking for an initiation on Zai. If they can find him in the tree lines, Anna's going to make his way down. Jirax having that pulse nerve will give the extra damage, but now... Well, they actually have Anna stuck in the tree line. Diacreet waves moving in, Universe under the cover of Vendetta, also in the neighborhood, but they drop a sentry What they see him straight away! Oh jeez! I don't know if they realize that Universe with the Spike Carabas might buy himself a little bit of space, but not enough to survive. S4's cogs will keep some L out of this fight as well. And OG's sentry boards have been right on the money. Maybe not the Lunar as much, but at least when you're running the little track for the early pressure. Jirax out a long way, S4, the Observer one. He saw SD just moving in and crit. Well, he is most definitely dead. But they're just checking every time where Universe is moving. And underneath the obs in the sentry on bottom, it's actually more trouble for Artur. S4, a big wide hook, a secondary sentry will be dropped. Arteezy with that purge creep. As she's slowing down Jirax for the moment, it's got another charge with a loser beam. Jirax in trouble. There goes your your first disruption out from crit. Jirax gets stunned up, hit by the vendetta, copping a fair chunk of damage and will die. Decide, let's not fight this Radiance song. And DK actually triggers his dragon form with the extra sentry planted and the obs ward. That sentry is just out of range of the Radiant sentry. Arrow will fly between the middle of OG. The observer ward will be taken out. Universe. Oh, the spike happens. The hook shot! S4's in. Disruption came from crit. But it didn't do enough in time. S4 does get stunned up, but no tell. Resets up the fight with the Song oh, no. of the Siren. Zai is just out of range of it. And that allows Ana to pick him up without turning off the Song of the Siren. Now Samel into the trees. Picked up by Jirax. Thrown back into the middle of the OG sandwich. And four heroes down for EG. A tier one tower to boot and OG. They look in great control of this game at the moment. They were out of range of any of OG's vision. But is this a slip into Roshan? Will OG oh, know about this? The Are they coming for the kills? The Radiant? They scan, they understand that OG is near the Ancients. Fly, well, he might be the sacrificial lamp for OG. A five-man smoke maneuver. If they take the Ancients as well, it's worth it for EG.
find the Naga or DK. They didn't get to steal the Ancients. Oh, and all the wards that EG just put down will be lost. No tell. They found both of the Observer wards that EG placed with this smoke maneuver. So now EG, they're pretty much blind on the map. S4 gets a hook shot down the bottom lane, actually soloing Arteezy's Luna. Man, the BKB. So we may just have to see the Luna go for one very, very early on. Zaya's gonna try and snipe out this bottom tower. It's been so long, the fortification's oh, already back up. Pulled out and hook shot! The rocket from S4 gave him the perfect vision in the tree line, not to mention the Latrak walking into that position. If they look to set for this top lane, they have got yeah, the recall coming. s 4s now here at the top lane looking for a hook shot. Well, with the rocket, they see him and crit caught in the tree line. S4 success rate rather high. And crit will die to the clockwork. Even with disruption, it just bought him a little bit of time, but the result was inevitable. Theoretically, push out lanes, the problem is you're always split up, and that's where the clockwork pulls this draft together. This for is the OG. opening. This is the opening. It's Arteezy retreating out. S4, hook shot over. Remember, Arteezy has that BKB. Is he going to trigger it to try and fight this with the ensnare? He triggers the BKB, but so late. The Song of the Siren comes out. The Eclipse, the damage just is nowhere near enough because actually isolated him. He was the only one immune from the Song of the Siren. Now everyone's on the run. At least they want to run, but they're being denied even that privilege. The SD was caught on the retreat. Just farm up the wave, OG pounced. And EG almost thought they weren't sure if they actually wanted to fight that. Yeah, they decided, I mean, Luna had no buyback. Oh, Anna, blink, oh. stun, crit, goodbye. 45 seconds on the sideline. Samel jumps in, maybe with a stun, but no clockwork! It's a huge cog and they just got GG well played. It was a slow bleed of the blue. And green is reigning supreme. OG take game one against evil geniuses. The OG doesn't have to reveal anything yet. They got him over a minute still to think about this. Just one. have a chat, start yeah. talking about their day, talking about their wards, and no, never mind. Never mind, it's an OD. It's an OD. Arteezy has mana for the waveform away if he wants to trigger off the one charges. But this turns into almost like a, like a, I was like a standoff. Until Crit picks him up, Jirax, there's your double crush, S4, burning down Crit, needs a little bit more damage with the waveform, the body block from Arteezy won't do enough, he'll get one kill however, and if Arteezy can pick up a double, it's gonna make it worth it! Support can respawn and come and help out your lane if you really need, but now the Rubik will TP mid. Look for a pick off on Ana, he's used the banish, and that's Q time for Crit to engage. Yeah, Crit slips in behind, gets the grab, the mail, the clap, plus the extra swipes. Anna is brought down by Rubik while up on top lane. Arteezy's on the run, into the tree lines. He needs more life to survive, moves up, sandwiched in between the two iron shells. The stun is out, but Jira into the trees, down to 22 HP. He's regenning with the tangos, but where's the TP support? Rotation's coming in from Crit. This was scouted out by the Observer Ward. Basically running cover fire, oh. so, so Jiras can escape, but still Crit. Fresh Observer Ward down. He's looking for that slaughter, and he's gonna find him. Attack him once. The crush from Jirax. Run backwards. Where do you go? It's a rock and a hard place, and a crit from crit. The fade bolt into the trees. Jirax takes the hit with the sprint. It was a guaranteed heal, kill with the amplification of damage. You understand too when you see that Iron Town that No Town wants to just slip inside the jungle and farm up as much as he can. Universe comes over to try and contest that if possible. Crit. Oh, okay, Crush is out. And this will be maybe an easy kill. Crit's looking to turn himself up to Ancient, so Jirax has to time this up quite right. OD imprisonment to level 3. You know, that is one very, very dead crit. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. He's, no he's coming down yeah. and flies walking straight into the clutches of Fuzzy Wuzzy. Samael starts, mm -hmm. right, doesn't actually let the uh, the clap go. Uses the slower set from Zyne to make sure he's 100% in range and fly. The Lincoln Shallow Grave, the TP's available while Universe has the battery assault. And fly knows he can't get out of this one. Yep. So good rotation from EG, they'll find the kill. Top lane, Arteezy once again, every time we see a kill in another lane. Oh, if you want to commit, OG, this is that. Universe is coming up here, but he's going to find himself running into a lot. Clogs. Oh, okay, he's going to get imprisoned. RTZ, more TP supports on the way. That's the Ursa coming in. Samoa wants to join the fight. Clockwork, hookshot, tries to get a little bit of a stun with the Cogs. Splits up the fight. They'll get a one-for-one -one trade off. S4 still trapped inside the Cogs. Will break free now. The Astral in prison, keeping Samoa out of this fight. To drop off a little bit. Obviously, the Alchemist is always going to get ahead. And, uh, no tell, stretches over 5,000 now. Uh, but the Morphling, sitting at 3.9k. 
Long way to get to his items. Sumail having a lot of issues, trying to come down for that 10 minute rune. Gonna get imprisoned up. Support the Universe! Hook shots in! Actually isolates Anna, forcing S4 back out again. Sumail trying to fight, but now they're back inside the cogs. Locked in with Universe. Crit has the actual imprisonment available. Can buy a little bit of base. Does it himself. And now the Ursa pops back out again. He'll die as it was Anna's astral. Does the damage when he reappears. Then some male inside the pit. He's got enough. He can solo Roshan. And the other three, they go for the gank. They look to create the space. And now they have the vision. It's over from Fly. Universal the hookshot of Farble. A quick imprisonment. That's the one out from Crit. So they isolate out Jirax. Locked in line of the cogs with the battery assault. Samel will come over. He's already got the Aegis in more of it. <laughs> oh, I suppose you can't have everything in the world. Uh, Slana being denied up by the neutral. Both EG supports back behind the T1 tower to relative safety. And in fact, Universe, hook shot, now he jumps, gets the cogs out. Astral Imprisonment, just defensive. What's Isil has that fire blast plus the ignite. So they lock him in with the blade melt turned off from Universe. No one really wants to attack him. The stun from T-Rank, keeping Critic control of the mouth. Back in the fight with the slow. No tail arrives with the Radiance burn. This is the worst time for EG to fight. They've already lost two, and they've got no other choice. Samal to the front line. Zai cannot save his teammate. Samal will fall. The Aegis will be triggered. Zai back behind the tower. Won't die the Radiant Sperm, but Samal stranded alone with no friends. And the tier 1 tower to go down as well. Oh, Fantastic it's... maneuvering from OG. OG find themselves in an amazing position. They've got a mech coming soon on the oh, darks here. Zai. Uh -oh. He thinks he's good. He doesn't understand. There's an invisible outworld devourer just looking to nom him from behind. And maybe, okay, imprisonment and just drop the nuke. <laughs> All right. Message said, message delivered, a message received. Says to Roshan, uh, maybe with the heavy rotations coming over from OG, EG may not even want to fight this. They managed to trigger off the Lincoln Sphere. As the Alchemist Illusion sitting there, Arteezy waveforms up, Anna still right behind him. Crit and Samal are in the neighborhood. Replicate of the OD is created. So Arteezy has a small little way to get down. In fact, he joins the rest of his team. They pick up, throw him back with Crit, gets a double stun, but it's already too late. With the Morgling dropping down and Zai copping huge amounts of damage from the Shadow Wave of Fly. That is not what EG needed now. He's still in a position where this game can turn for EG with his split push and just pressure on the other lanes. But the jump is out. They managed to find Samael a little bit too far out. He does actually have the Enrage plus regeneration, but the problem is he needs to away from Jirax who has Crush available. So you start the Enrage. There goes your first Crush. Damage won't be huge, but it will be enough. Both of the big cores of EG picked off within the space of a minute. Hatiz is doing the best thing he can. Force out the top lane, get a reaction. Jirax is the man to come back, and he actually blinks up. He's hunting Arteezy into the tree line, who waveforms, starts to TP. Jirax, oh! oh! He gets the stun! Are you he kidding finds me? him! He isolates Arteezy, body blocking him out as well. Arteezy now tries to fight, but the rest of OG, they're on their way. Special delivery for Arteezy. OG, the delivery service. They'll hold him in with a back, up more iron shells. They'll take the damage from the imprisonment when he comes out, and Anna is on a monster kill streak. And Arteezy is pushing up the daisies. EG do the best thing they can. They're trying to get Roshan. Samel's inside the pit. No tell knows he's gonna go down there and check it with the weave out as well. They're losing armor. Samel locked in the corner, trying to man mode this one with the telekinesis. Maybe he's got enough damage to bring down No tell. No, he doesn't. He's got nothing of the sword. Crit's on the run. S4's right behind him. Back and back again. EG, this has gone bad to worse to absolutely disastrous. And it's not even done yet. Jirax found Universe. I'm so He may not even get back to base. Support's coming in from S4, so we might be able to actually jump and get the back. Crush. Somebody, somebody check this guy's PC. What? Whoa. What's that? That is just an insane read of the game. Doing it at the time as the TP was coming. Down they go. No steal. Push out. Universe. Bail, 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 bail. Oh, the crush is in there. He that's... went for the glory play. I mean, that's when you know that 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 sums up this game for EG. Well, there's two great saves on the OG side, so you've got to go on him while Clockwork catches someone in the back lines, like goes on a dazzler on OG. But okay, Atizi got enough money from farming the mid lane. He's finished up an E blade, so okay. they've got that pop damage. Maybe this is just a sack. Like EG, just stall it up, make make them waste as much time as possible, and you accept the fact that this bottom rack is gone. EG cannot fight. If they fight. They probably lose this entire series off the back of that fight. So yeah. just continue to farm, cut your losses, and wait for what is a critical game-ending maneuver. How do you stop OG from pushing? Banish them.
So yeah. Arteezy gets the tier 2 tower, here comes the TP back, Acid Spray stolen by the Rubik. All these things are slowly adding up the EG, which gives him a fighting chance, but force up forward from Anna. Dribble gets the grab, the mail, opens up, the OD still has the Aegis to model. Remember, he wants to die, the wall, the back, dragging EG back into death. This is OG with the big push. Buyback is up. Aegis Immortal has been triggered. So Arteezy's back to the front lines, but then the fourth star Girac, he pushed Sai into his crush. And this is the mid racks. EG again in a position where they can't pop. They don't have their sun controllers. There's the initiation for EG, the, the way these heroes work together just seems like it's, it's so difficult to find OG. And then about 11k in the experience. EG. They're trying to beat the aggressors, the five-man smoke maneuver, but they got scanned! OG saw them coming, no wants to and fight. now they, they weave in preparation. No tell moves over, they see the Ursa, uh. it's just a replica at the moment, and Samael jumping on the back line, finds Fly, Shallow Grave will protect him, he needs a better target, moving between them, the BKB timing, wait, Fly will be able to drop now, and Morphling, hiding hard, Jurax will drop down low, Zai wants to finish him off, but really... It's up to Samael if he can do any level of damage or a It's GG! OG have done it! They've taken out a once TI champion and OG will advance to their third major grand final. Maybe even took it for the third time as well.